regarding the... You okay? You're feeling it too? I... Oh my god, yo, we need to get out of here. What's up? You okay, what? What's up? I don't know. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, I think we need a minute. I heard that. Guaranteed. Let's get you out of here. Oh, I've never had that. No, you haven't. You're always in control. We can shut the cameras down for a second and we can just like sit. We can take another break for a second. Whatever it is, get off me. Get off of me. Get off. Let go. You don't have permission to touch me. You don't have permission to hold on to me. Get away from me. Guys, I don't know if it's a good idea to continue. If Wyatt's at this state, we can't do it. We can't do it. That does not happen often. With all due respect, get off of me. You're trying to, you're trying to latch on to me. I don't want that. I don't need that. We're trying to communicate. With all of the power and the light that we hold, none other you good? is allowed Hug me. This is my story of an attempted possession. What up home slices, what up home fries, and what up homes of other varieties. So in today's video we are going to be reacting to Twin Paranormal and we're going to be taking it all the way back to season one, episode three, why you ask? Because YouTube works in mysterious ways and it just popped up on me and I thought it would be a good video to react to, especially with it being an attempted possession. And that's, I guess, for Wyatt. And they're going to be looking at Middlegate Station in Nevada. But I will be inserting some clips. I will not react to the entire video. If you want to watch the video, watch it here or click on the link down below. But either way, support the original creators. And uh, let's get into this. As always, I will be putting my notes on Patreon, so if you're on there, uh, you can check those out. But so, I have two pages of notes, and before every single video I react to, I like to give my first impressions and what I'm feeling before I watch it, just because sometimes I get validating information that helps me know that I'm on the right track. And I guess for those watching or Patreon peeps, um, I don't know, it's interesting to you guys, I guess. But so, first impressions. So I just get a sharp tingling pain to the back of the head and nausea. And guys, I was feeling fine today. Like today was one of my good pain days to where I could even clean the house. So... I know it has to do in relation to this location. And I sense there's Native American land and conflicts that happened in the past. Um, people have been touched there. And I was feeling like illness. Like, okay, so specifically, I was feeling like feverish and like crummy, like a cold or something similar. And. It's giving like scarlet fever vibes. Um, I start getting a stabbing shock, jolty pain in the middle left part of my abdomen. And there's obviously some residual energy. There's multiple earthies and there's one negative non-human entity. I so, whoa, 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 whoa. One of the first things they talk about is the diamond ring that was found but then went missing but they also say 
that's not the only thing that goes missing, that there's other things that go missing. So that can happen. Things can appear and disappear. There was, I know they talk about a customer putting an umbrella down and then it like disappearing. I'm also seeing something similar, but with like a broom. They did not say anything about a broom, but I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing a broom. Something specifically with a broom. I don't know. Maybe someone can validate it. Maybe someone can't. I do not know, but I'm seeing broom. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get into the clip here. For energy to show us that you are here. Yo. Wait, what was that? Yo! To show us that you are here. Yo. Wait, what was that? Yo! What, what the f was that? Dude, someone just sprinted down the f***ing Do thing. not, oh my gosh, dude. I have the chills like that no other right, right now. That was right out here, dude. That, that to me, yeah. feel it, feel it. All right, so sleepy and heaviness in the head. To me, that's just indication of an earthy. And if you don't know what an earthy is, that's my slang for earthbound spirit. And there's multiple in there. Dude, someone's right here. That's what it feels like. It's running in the floor. I'm sorry, I'm trying to capture the audio. Right there, what is that? Feel it right where I am. Now around this time, there is a male earthy with brown hair, a mustache, a beard, and... So the reference they're giving me is Teddy Roosevelt. Now he kind of looks like Teddy Roosevelt with like that style, but that was kind of a common style for men. But, 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 they're also using Teddy Roosevelt as a marker for a point of time. So if you did not know, I had to look this up because of course I'm not a walking encyclopedia, but so, Teddy Roosevelt was born October 27th, 1858. He died January 6th, 1919. So this is like the time span that this earthy is from, at least the one. But this earthy here at this time kind of looks like a skinnier version of Teddy Roosevelt, but also with a mustache and a beard. So this one's interesting because this is where we start getting multiple earthies. Now, the one at the bar, he likes whiskey. And listen, I know I'm a, an adult and I should know about alcohol, but I don't because literally I was introduced to it by like my husband and I never drank it even before then. So I would say 28 years old. 27, 28, I don't know. Around then is when I was like introduced to alcohol. So I don't know like Jack Daniels and all that stuff. I don't know what kind of alcohol it was or is, but I heard, and I have a gnat flying around. So if you see something flying around, it's not an orb, it's a gnat. Okay, anyway, back to this. I heard he likes whiskey and it's funny because I'm seeing like this man and I hear him say like it's gonna put hair on your um, on a man's chest or put some hair on your chest kind of vibes I've never heard that before but um yeah and I know he asked for beer too which is interesting because technically on the astral realm like they can't drink it but it's just like that motion of sitting at the bar and kicking it back with your homies, your male friends. Um, that's why a lot of them like it there. And it's also one of the common places that they were when they were alive. So that's another reason they often go there and frequent there and stay there. So I start seeing a man moving and I actually see it in two places. So there's two men at this time and I'll insert the um, picture, the screenshot I took of the video and I'll have the circles of where I saw them. One's sitting at the table and one's like in the middle 
in front of the bar. And the one that's in between, like, I want to say Wyatt and then, um, I'm sorry, I don't know which of the Reese brothers he was, was sitting on the other side, but he's in between those two and he's kind of like face to face with Marco, the bartender, the, I guess one of the staff members there. Um, that one's Diego. He's not as old though. So the Teddy Roosevelt guy, he's separate. He's separate from Diego. Diego is the one that likes um, beer, I'm pretty sure. And the other guy likes, the Teddy Roosevelt guy likes whiskey. Whoa, whoa, my God, dude, something just got knocked over. Something just got knocked over right over in that corner. That was really close. What did you say? What did you say, Diego? Someone else is here? That's what it sounded like. So around this time, 3117, my head begins to feel swimmy. And it's interesting too because that's kind of like where now the ghost box, the the REM pods, and all that stuff, they're already active but they're even more so active around this time which is interesting because that's where my around that time where my head gets swimmy that that is what you want or do you love it like me here you don't want to leave if you like it here give us a red whoa red so they love it here <laughs> that, was, that was all of them at once yeah. that's and that's collectively everybody the emf by the door went off too no shit. That's so everyone thank who's you. in here now then. Thank you, I, I know. I appreciate you being here with me. Whoa. What? They do love it there because A, they frequented there and they always had good, pleasant memories there. Diego, do you want to stay here and hang out forever? Help, there are here. Help, there are something here. Now the help help there are demons here <sighs> now they're gonna have a different perspective because they're on the astral plane and closer to the negative non-human entity and I believe that they perceive it as a demon it's not like your stereotypical demon it's not a demon in my book it is a negative non-human entity um, because there was a lot of Native American conflicts I suspect that it is based off of what was conjured during that time there's a lot of fighting going on between um, so you have the people traveling with the wagons and they're going to the west and then you have the natives fighting because people are going into their territory and stuff like that. And plus you have other natives going into other natives near, uh, territory. But so there was conflict there. And I feel like the non-human entity is from that. But there's also like, there is a negative earthy though. <sighs> but he's not as he doesn't frequent there all that often at least that's how it's appearing to me I could be wrong like I could be wrong with all of this but it feels like there is a negative earthy that comes here and there but I feel like he might be attached to one of the people that go there like one of the regulars I'm not yeah I was like trying to put him down and I couldn't move. Maybe Diego Whoa. gave you a hug. Goodbye. All right, Diego. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. I wanted to say thank you so much, Marcus. Yeah. Also, Man, um, dude, I'm not no going to lie. You know, we started our investigation. Something started happening instantly, and then you walked in, and then all of a sudden things just started popping off. So thank you, brother. You might need to step outside and breathe. Oh, man. You good? Yeah. That shit is. All right, and then we get to the point where Marco starts feeling like someone walked through him, 
And then shortly after, Wyatt also starts not feeling very well. What's up? You okay, Wyatt? Yeah, um, that's, that's easy to explain. So if you watch the video, um, you'll notice that at one point Marco does say, use whatever energy you need, take energy from me if you have to. Never, ever, ever do that because that is a clear invitation for negative entities to attach and or to take your energy and drain you like a battery. And so that happened with both Marco and Wyatt. Wyatt's, yeah, Wyatt's um, situation is very similar. I don't remember if he said take or use my energy, but just from watching them, just in their later videos, the more recent ones, sometimes they slip up and say stuff like that. And so even if he didn't quite say it like that, he still didn't have the proper protection set in place at that time. So that's not saying he's not like that. That's not saying that it's like that now with his new content that they, you know, put out. But it's like at that time in this video when they filmed, he did not have the proper protection set in place. And he essentially got jumped but not in terms of possession or influence, more so jumped to have his energy taken and used to communicate with them. So Wyatt in this, at least in this episode, was not possessed, nor was he influenced. It's just that a spirit jumped him for energy and drained him like a battery. And I like that they cleansed him and they stopped continuing their investigation and they took it seriously so yay I'm, I'm glad that they did that in this case they use sage um in this circumstance I don't see anything wrong with it as a quick like get the crap off of me like I don't want your energy and you're not allowed to take mine kind of thing and it's just a quick like refresh. I feel like that's okay. I feel like if they used Palo Santo with it, it would have been better. But in this case, it still worked. I would say overall, the spirits in this location are neutral. There are there's some here and there that are negative, but for the majority, I would say most of them are neutral. And they don't typically feed mainly off of the staff. Here and there they will, but I feel like, at least what I'm seeing is they feed mainly off of the tourists and any negative people or people with negative energy or people with um, issues and traumas. As far as what the non-human entity look like, Honestly, I wasn't getting too much in terms of like its appearance. I was just seeing it in a shadowy form, but also because I didn't sit and properly channel, but I didn't want to either because I've been having like allergy issues and things and I didn't want to tap in and wear myself out. So but I feel like it's not that important in terms of this location. I feel like the more important thing to focus on is that the location is haunted. It's got plenty of earthies. I was seeing the three earthies, so I was seeing two men and one woman. The woman, she had like brown hair. I wouldn't say too dark brown, it's like that medium brown hair. And I see like curls to it or waves, but it's got like the, I don't know how you want to put it. I'm just seeing like the curly-ish hair. It's long, I would say past, past the ribs. 
and I see her wearing like I want to see like a bow in her hair kind of like not like my bow but I do see it as blue and a bow so I don't know if that's Ida I don't get names generally but she is white at least she is white appearing um and I see her like I'm bad with age but like 35 to 40s now earthies can appear however they want but to me I'm seeing a woman that's like 35 to 40 and uh yeah so what I was seeing at least I was only seeing three earthies now there could be more but those are the ones that stood out to me the most as for what was running outside it I'm pretty sure that is res it's hard because there's a lot of residual but I was seeing horses now of course they did say at the beginning of the video that the lady you know grew up on a ranch or with horses or whatever like there's horses there is some residual horse energy um and I feel like some of the running to outside is the non-human negative entity. So I was seeing the running, but yeah, one is like human sized, but it's not a human. And then the other one was like an animal, like a big animal. So I'm going to say it's like a horse. So do with that how you will. And, um... Honestly, I think it's pretty neat and a good historical location. I would totally visit there. So, I mean, there's not too much going on in this video because it's not as long as many of their videos. It was only like 45 minutes-ish, 45 to 50 minutes. I don't even think it hit the 50 mark, but yeah, it was pretty short. It was pretty neat. I liked that kind of video and it's crazy with the amount of paranormal activity that they were getting on camera to where it might look suspicious to many people watching and maybe even the debunker community. However, I can tell you that that place is haunted and I'm pretty sure that they didn't mess with anything and that they didn't tamper with any of the evidence. The shadows are tricky because even I was like, I was trying to, I would freeze frame and I would have to like double check to see where the shadows were. And there was one point where I did see the shadow move like they described how it kind of like went up the wall and across the ceiling. I did see that. But I also feel like they were jumpy and so some of the shadows that were naturally casted by them kind of like made them jumpy a little bit but they did see at least one I know for a fact that was legit my third itches so <laughs> I'm gonna conclude this video here and as always thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I almost said like but that is the thumbs up don't forget to leave any comments, questions, concerns down below. And if you're new, you might want to hit the subscribe button. I mean, if you like this video, I will be putting out more similar ones like this. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Peace out.